This is the pinnacle of all rock and roll courses. I'm still very much a novice player and this is intentional. We want to show you how anyone can learn guitar and how much fret zealot helps. I was going to have someone else on our team film this demo, but after speaking with Julian, he challenged me to prove our vision and learn the course myself. Challenge accepted. So let's explore the course and see how I did. We're in the app, so let's go find pure pentatonic power in the courses. I'll just search here for power. There it is. So going into the course, we'll check out section one, A minor licks. I favorited a few here, and let's uh, let's see what it's all about. So that's what Julian does for performances. He plays them at three speeds and it lets you see what the lick will actually sound like. And then he teaches in excruciating detail how to play it properly. So let's move on to the actual lick and see how to play it. To run over the string names just in case you don't know them. So since this is the first lick, he's actually just going through a quick uh, introduction to make sure you know your string names when he's calling them out. The more forgotten them are E, A, D, G, B, E. You could use every angry devil gets bad eggs, eat apples daily grow big ears, or backwards Easter bunnies get drunk at Easter. Totally up to you. Uh, I will use finger one. Pretty funny there. So let's skip ahead to see an actual example. Hopefully you will know them, but I'll go over them anyway. So we're going to take the third finger or the ring finger, put it on the seventh fret of the G string. Then we're going to downstrike with the plectrum. And then we're going to put the middle finger on the eighth fret on the B string there, and I'm going to jump over to the outside of the B string and play an upstrike. And you'll see I slid from seven to nine. All that means is you keep the pressure on with this finger. Pretty neat seeing how the LEDs light that up, showing you the correct finger to use, starting here, sliding down to this fret, switching to your middle finger. That is what Fred Zellert is all about, and Julian's courses are fantastic for this. So let's move ahead again. We'll head over to just after six minutes. Okay, so now we do a bend on the G string. So I put my ring finger... wanted to point this out because for bends, especially when you're a beginner, it's not just one finger. I mean, you can do it, but to make it easier and as you start playing more professional music, you'll be using two fingers and it makes it a lot easier to bend. But he goes further and explains the concepts behind these bends. Right, ring finger on the seventh fret of the G string, middle finger behind it on six, same string, first finger on five. And the reason we put them on is to give strength to make that bend happen. Now we're bending a tone here. Now a tone on the guitar is two frets. So if you've never done this before, you don't know what to do, you want to change the pitch of that note, seventh fret, to the pitch of the ninth fret, which is an E. So it's a good idea to go over, give it a play. So super cool visual concept there of showing how you bend this until it matches the tone, two frets down. Really neat to see that in action. Um, let's move on and see what else he's got in store for us later in the course. So we'll move on to D minor licks and just start with lick five here. So 
So a new lick, all of them are just freaking awesome. Let's see how he teaches us to play it. So this is jam track two. So we've gone into D minor. So we've moved our pentatonic box or shape number one up to the 10th fret on the E string. And then we just play the same box. He's just, you know, a little better than me. But uh, the point is uh, to teach the triplet soloing technique here and showing the pentatonic scale there is just the uh, a clutch maneuver on his part to actually understand the fundamentals behind the solo he's playing. So let's skip ahead to some more technique. So what we've got is... And then the pattern starts again. So we're going 10, 8, 10 on the E string. Now when I play this, I notice that I start with a downstrike. And then I kind of pick note three as well, even though I am. So going through detailed demonstrations there, let's see what the end result is. You want to pick the last note you can. So slowly, so far, we've got. Then the next bar, we continue the pattern. So we're going to go 10, 12, 10. On D string. Now remember, these are color coded for your fingers. So blue is your index finger, yellow is your ring finger. So walking through this, you can slow the video down if you want. He's already making it pretty slow, but this sounds cool. And Julian goes through in detail. This is I'm skipping ahead here minutes uh, to show you exactly how to play it properly. Let's move on now to lick number eleven in E minor. cool lick. Uh, I loved this one when I first jumped into the course. So skipping ahead here. And then catch an up strike on the B string. So slowly. I've left my bend up there but you can choke it out or take it off. Especially if it's hurting your fingers or if you want to. You can leave it on. Then we do a slide three to five. This isn't a ghost slide, so we hear both notes. So we have one and two and three and... That is awesome. If, if I can do that, anyone can. Let's see what it sounds like with a pedal. So... Really, really cool. Just really inspiring here. So now... With this course, he teaches these licks, but he also teaches you the fundamentals behind it. It's all color-coded for your fingers, there's tabs, but there's more that you can do to create your own solo. So let's actually skip back out, out of courses here and go to the main, um, the main home screen for Fred Zellett. If I go into Learn, Notes and Scales, I can actually display the scale that he was talking about. So let's go into like an E blues scale and see how the notes line up. So in the lick he just taught, he did. And so using this note here, two open strings, which are in the scale, and then a slide here, also in the scale open, and then an index finger here, and then two open. See, I just added that on there at the end randomly to see what it would sound like, and that was um, also in the scale. So using the scales to expand upon his licks, create your own. It's just incredible. This chorus can't recommend it enough. So there you have it, just a couple of the 18 bluesy rock licks in this course. So much to go through and learn. It's awesome. Check it out. Then use the tools that Fret Zellett has to create your own riffs, licks, and styles. If I can do it, you can definitely do it. Rock on.